But uh, Scott, I was searching uh, the web looking for people that might be the third person for the show, and I'm, I'm glad we found him because I think that he rounded out the show most nicely. Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to just say thanks to, uh, to Rick for all the, all the work you've helped me uh, do in putting this together. This is the first for me, um, and I was, I was surprised at how much work uh, this entailed, actually, and I, I couldn't have done it sincerely without your help. But with that said, um, even though my images here um, are abstractions, uh, I think it's pretty apparent that um, they all have nature as an underlying um, element and, and theme. Um, but yet, I, I often say that I don't consider myself, uh, at least in the strictest sense of the word, to be a nature photographer. And uh, the reason I say that uh, is when I think of nature photography, and I realize I'm generalizing a little bit here, um, I think of content, of subject matter, perhaps places being primarily important in the image. Um, in, in the case of, but in the case of my images, I think content is not so much a um, prominent part. If you're talking about form or feeling or content, I think content is is probably the least dominant of, of those of those three elements. Um, I tend to think of the elements in my photographs. I try to think in terms of more visual design, expression. <coughs> rather than so much focusing on documenting, documenting certain aspects of nature. Um, but having said that, I, I, I don't want to come across to make it seem as if nature is insignificant or not an important part of, of my images. Um, it's, uh, it's very important to me personally, I think, and, and in my photography. And uh, it's where I spend a great deal of my free time, so consequently that's what shows up, shows up in my images. Uh, another thing I find um, compelling about nature as subject matter is that it's, it's ever-changing. Uh, I find that I can come back uh, from one week to the next and things will, be, things will have changed, even if in, in subtle ways. And coming back to the same spots is, is actually a, a, an integral part of my my working approach, uh, my approach to photography actually, I find that coming back to the same places um, over and over again allows me to get to, to get to dig in a little deeper into, into a particular uh, subject matter, into a location, and I think it has stretched uh, my seeing, um, and I don't necessarily depend on, on traveling to new locations or traveling far. Uh, to find things that are interesting to photograph. Um, not that there's anything wrong, of course, with, with um, finding new, new venues, but I find what's so compelling about coming to back to the same place, as I was saying, I think it stretches my scene, and it forces me to look at things with a, a fresh perspective, a fresh set of eyes, without having to depend on, on um, unfamiliar new locations. And, um, so that's, that's what comes to mind as far as what I have to tell you about my approach to photography. And certainly if you have any questions after the show, I'd be glad to, to answer them. Thanks so much.